Hello, today we will be taking on the hottest AI news from around the globe. The godfather of AI leaves Google. He warns the world of the dangers that could arise from AI development. All eyes are on AI technology these days. As AMD announces that they will be pursuing AI development, their stock price skyrockets. In order to ensure the safe and useful development of AI, President Joe Biden saw fit to meet with the country's most qualified experts and set things straight. Bill Gates, one of tech industry's biggest stars, is so impressed with how AI is developing and how it could impact learning for children. Military powers will never be the same again with this new and powerful upgrades from Palantir as they integrate AI into their systems. Godfather of AI warns of impending doom. Is the end of the world near? One of the most popular experts in the field of artificial intelligence, Jeffrey Hinton has recently stepped down from his position at Google and issued a warning to the rest of the world about the potential dangers arising from how AI is developing right now. Jeffrey Hinton, a popular psychologist and computer scientist, said that some of the advancements in AI chatbots are scary, and he said that anytime soon there is a possibility that they could become more intelligent than human beings. However, Hinton's resignation from Google wasn't all because of his problems with AI development. He shared that his decision to leave Google was also because of his age. Hinton is terrified of the possibility for evil people to create, design, and use AI for evil purposes, such as giving robots the ability to create their own tasks and responsibilities. Hinton warned that the kind of intelligence being developed in the AI industry right now is quite different from how humans think and that we need to pay close attention to AI safety and control. Hinton's most popular research on neural networks and deep learning are a big part of what started the AI boom that we are experiencing right now. He was instrumental in the development of current AI systems like ChatGPT. Neural networks are systems that are designed and created to be patterned after the human brain, which lets AIs learn from their experiences and process this information. Hinton has concerns about AI chatbots because he thinks that they could soon diversely affect human knowledge and how humans acquire information. He says that we need to be ready for the upcoming dangers that will be brought to us by the advancement of AI technology. As AI technology and their capabilities continue to improve, it's becoming increasingly important for the AI developers to assign AI experts who will ensure the general public that AI development does not go out of hand and that AI will be an aid to human beings and not an enemy. The speed of how the developments are happening and the direction they are going are quite troubling according to Hinton. Aside from Google, another giant in the tech industry is turning people's heads as they dive deeper into AI. AMD stock soars on AI news. The future of technology is here. AMD is currently one of the hottest stocks to buy in the stock market because of its recent statements that it plans to invest big time in AI development. AMD has announced partnerships with big time cloud providers like Google and Microsoft in order to be able to develop hardware and software solutions that can design their AI models to handle heavier and more complicated workloads. AMD has also been working on several exciting projects related to AI, mostly in the form of AI chips and software that can be used in data centers and other computers. AMD has also been working on creating new and improved types of AI memory that can help to improve the performance and efficiency of their AI systems. According to Seeking Alpha, while Microsoft still uses NVIDIA chips for its AI ambitions, it appears to be looking for AMD to become a partner. Microsoft's deal to help pay for the chips is part of its further push into AI. In addition, Microsoft is also working with AMD on its own AI chip, internally known as Athena. Most companies that are currently into AI development are riding a very nice wave of hype currently. Companies like NVIDIA, AMD, and SMCI are experiencing massive support from fans and investors. Many people feel that AI could very soon go mainstream, and if there's going to be the next big thing, it is definitely going to be AI. People have seen how popular and useful OpenAI's ChatGPT has been, and if a really good tech company like AMD is going to focus on AI, they have a pretty high chance of success. AMD's chief executive, Lisa Su, said that she feels very good about how the company's roadmap looks. She feels that they have what it takes, and they have the right people in their company to accomplish their goals in attaining success in the field of AI. As AI gets more and more powerful and sophisticated, the government wants to make sure it doesn't get out of hand. Joe Biden meets with tech CEOs to discuss AI risks. 
Will regulation save us? Mm. As news and developments surrounding AI are gaining more and more attention, the White House recently met with the CEOs of Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI to talk about possible rules and regulations that could be implemented in relation to artificial intelligence development. President Biden and his administration want to make sure that the rapidly evolving technology of AI will aid people's lives and not put their lives and safety at risk instead. President Joe Biden joined the meeting with the CEOs of the top tech companies, and he discussed the seemingly limitless potential and dangers that humans could face because of AI development. The recently released AI chatbot, ChatGPT, has caught the attention of many tech companies who also want to develop their own versions of AI chatbots. These tools can mimic human-like text and thinking, and if you're not keen enough, you won't notice it. Because of this, governments are forced to consider the possible impacts that these AI platforms could have on jobs, spreading false news, and defrauding people. The Biden administration will invest a budget of around $140 million in order to create seven AI research teams, which will also help the government use these available AI tools to their advantage. Thankfully, the country's top AI developers have also expressed their interest to join in a public evaluation of their systems this coming August at the Las Vegas Hacker Convention DEFCON. While a lot of AI skeptics are happy with how Biden is handling the situation, some are saying that the White House must not rely on these AI developers in order to provide security for the nation. Otherwise, they would know exactly how to circumvent the law and the government. One of the sectors that will be most affected by the development of AI will be education, and Bill Gates shares his views on the matter. Bill Gates predicts AI will teach literacy in 18 months, a revolution in education. During a talk at the ASU plus GSV summit in San Diego, Bill Gates, billionaire and founder of Microsoft, has come out and said that pretty soon AI will be helping young kids improve their grades. Bill Gates said that AIs could radically speed up the time it would take for children to actually learn how to read and write. Gates said that AIs have tutoring skills that no human tutor, however experienced, can ever match. He talked about ChatGPT created by OpenAI and Bard created by Google, and how they have managed to improve a lot in just so little time. In fact, Gates says that these AIs could pretty much compete with some of the best human researchers from around the world. The rapid growth of AI technology has produced so much excitement and hope for a lot of people, yet it cannot be denied that there are possible negative consequences as well. The fears that humans have always had about AI technology that things could go out of hand are already resurfacing again. However, for Bill Gates, he is definitely among the crowd who are impressed and excited as to where AI technology will take us. Even with just the released chatbots right now, he feels that technology has never been this beneficial, especially how these could greatly aid children in their learning. He says that the most beneficial aspect of children's learning will be in their reading and writing skills. Being in the tech industry for so many years himself, Gates recognizes how difficult it is for developers to be able to give feedback on written assignments and critique outputs. But this time around, with AI, developers are able to do it. The statements made by Bill Gates have been agreed upon by other professionals from different fields. A tech writer from New York Times said that he is utilizing ChatGPT to help him get faster results instead of searching for them individually on Google. He says that this has greatly improved his written outputs overall. Many academics, although they have been very careful about their statements, have also come out and said that chatbots have greatly helped them in critiquing texts, essays, and assignments. The problem with chatbots, however, is that they seem to have a problem solving mathematical equations. Because of this, they can't be considered as the best digital tool to tutor children. But Bill Gates is positive that the chatbots will improve greatly in the next coming months and they will be able to provide quality tutoring for kids. Um, Bill Gates said that chatbots can be considered as the great equalizer. For many decades, only the rich children could afford tutors and excel in school. Hopefully now, with the availability of AI, all children will have the opportunity to excel in their studies, regardless of their financial situation. AI is not limited to just education and tech. They are going to be a big part of national defenses and military as well. AI in the military. Palantir demonstrates future of warfare with revolutionary technology. 
In a world where technology is rapidly developing, the military and defense sectors of nations around the world have to step up and make the best use out of these developments to make sure they are able to secure their territories as best as they can. Today, with the rapid success of AI and how it is widely utilized by society right away, many companies are now looking into how they could use AI to help the military and government improve their defenses. One of the leading companies when it comes to technology and its use in the military is Palantir. They are known all around around the world for having the best tech when it comes to data analysis, data integration, and data recording. With AI now in their hands, they have quickly improved a lot in their softwares and they are certain that their new developments will transform the future of military and national defenses. Here are some of the most important improvements that Palantir has implemented in their new AI system. 1. Improved decision making through AI because the military relies on advanced information and leads this is exactly what Palantir provides for them. Now with AI integrated into their system, they can do this even more efficiently and effectively. Their AI system is able to gather information from different sources like satellite images, intelligence reports, data about their troops, their positioning, and even up to date, real-time battlefield information. The AI solves algorithms in order to call out patterns and trends, aiding the military to make correct decisions and strategies on time and on target. 2. Improved Situational Awareness With the use of AI, Palantir now has the capability to aid the military watch out for movements happening around them, and how the enemy troops are stationed themselves. It clearly shows where the enemy soldiers are, what they could possibly be doing at the moment, and important places to watch out for in the battlefield. The AI system can even predict what the enemy might do next, which helps prepare the military to be ready to respond quickly if any threat is present. 3. Improved Logistics and Management of Supplies to be successful in the military, managing supplies is very important. There must be a seamless and clear manner of sorting and delivering supplies. Palantir's AI system is capable of doing just this. Instead of assigning lots of troops to sort and keep track of supplies, AI can simply do the work for them, and do it so much faster at that. Four. Detecting cyber threats and strengthening security cybersecurity could make or break a country's defenses. Especially today, when almost everything is virtual and online, enemy hackers could easily cause a domino effect of problems for a nation's defense just by attacking their databases. Palantir's new AI can prevent and defeat these attacks by studying past attacks, finding any potential threats lurking around, looking at any possible weaknesses, and suggesting ways on how to improve cybersecurity. With Palantir's new AI, it will be very hard for enemies to attack a nation digitally. 5. Real Life Battlefield Simulation Palantir's AI platform helps with military training and simulation. It creates real-life scenarios and virtual environments for soldiers to train in. This helps them make better decision makers, understand their surroundings, and be better prepared for actual missions. We hope you enjoyed this video about the latest news in the AI industry. If you haven't already, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications. Thank you so much for watching.